Hey, welcome to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. So you got some questions on the economy and what's going on and which way it's going to go. Stay tuned. We're going to cover that in a little bit. So in this day and age that we're living in right now with the uh, whole uh, bug going around and what it's doing to the economy, to the people, to the amount of deaths in this country. Um, the economy is really taking a big hit. As we've all seen, the stock markets have crashed, you know, and, and dipped way down below where they were, you know, with within what a month, month and a couple of weeks, maybe a month and a half. You know, the stock market went from almost 30,000 points down to you know, 18,000 points, and I think it's up to back up to about 22,000 points uh, based on uh, with the stimulus package that was uh, just finally passed and the, the Congress and the President signed the $2 trillion package. Now the deal with the $2 trillion package, I'm sure somewhere along the line uh, coming up, uh, we're all gonna have to pay that back one way or the other. Um, I'm sure they're either going to be raising prices or having to raise taxes or they're going to come up with some harebrained idea to uh, ensure that they get their money back. Now, you know, I mean, in a sense, the $2, the $2 trillion package was a great deal, you know, as far as, you know, sending money out to people that really need it and everything else, um, uh, especially people that are unemployed. Uh, they need it the most. Uh, the people that still have jobs and are working and everything, um, I think they could have given them a little bit less and uh, maybe give the people that are unemployed a little bit more. But, you know, it is what it is and they're the ones that make the decisions. Now, as far as them uh, with the economy and everything, we all know that in that two trillion dollar package, there is these big deals to help out all these big corporations, which I'm not a big fan of. I'll be perfectly honest with you, but it is what it is. They passed it, president signed it, so at least there's going to be an overseas board that's going to be watching how that money is distributed to a lot of the big corporations, and hopefully. Um, they're not going to be allowed to do their stock buybacks on their company to boost their companies back up on the stock market. We'll see if that actually takes place. Um, <clears throat> but on the economy side, uh, they put out this package deal here. Um, as everybody watches and you're, you're seeing on TV and stuff, um, we have not uh, uh, put a dent in the curve yet. You know, everybody talks about this curve, you know, and um, unfortunately, I think the curve is going up further and further. And on the economy side, you know, they just did this stimulus package. I have heard on the, the news that, you know, they're talking about a fourth package because the first package was actually three put into one, which should have been broken down into three different package deals. Um, I think they could have got it done a lot faster if they would have done it that way um, and took care of the American people first and then worked on like the small businesses and um, supplies and stuff for all the hospitals and then least but not last take care of the big businesses. But once again, they make the rules. They have the money. The people who have the money, they make the rules. So. As far as us American people, we really don't have a say in it. You can call and write and do whatever you want, but at the end of the day, the person that's got the money makes the rules. Um, <clears throat> looking long term, you know, they, are, they have mentioned something about possibly having to do a fourth package deal um, because they're starting to see that this is probably going to go on longer than what they anticipated. Now, I don't know why they didn't anticipate that in the very beginning, 
because if you look all around the world how this is spreading and everything else, um, I don't know what they think we're going to come up with a magical antidote overnight and a week from now everybody's going to be cured. It doesn't work that way. So it all hits the, the economics of, of this world. Um, your 401ks have all took a hit. Everybody knows that. Um, if you do have a 401k, my suggestion is if you're look, staying in it long term, don't even look at it. Just leave it alone. Um, for all you people that um, possibly, you know, you have some money in the bank, say you have uh, uh, an emergency slush fund, um, my suggestion to you would be um, for the long term basis until the smoke clears and um, they get a control on this bug, I would actually take some cash out of the bank and keep it on your property so that if something drastic does happen and um, for say the shit hits the fan, um, you do have some cash in your pocket. And that is a, a very good feeling if you are able to do that. Now, not everybody has emergency funds. You know, a lot of people live paycheck to paycheck, which makes it very difficult for people to, to plan and do certain things. I believe that they probably will have to come out with another package deal um, I think they're going to have to try to uh, save the, the stock market. I think uh, as this goes along and they still don't have, say, a vaccine or drugs that are treating this and stop the amount of people dying in this country and um, get a hold of uh, the PPE that all the healthcare people need, um, that's gonna start weighing on the stock market, I would say within the next week or so. If it doesn't, I'll be surprised. Now, I did notice yesterday the stock market went, you know, it's going up. Um, today, you know, it was up a little bit. Uh, as of this morning, I really haven't checked it since then, but it was only up like 70. Um, so it wasn't like a big drastic jump like it was yesterday. Um, the stock market is going to be very skittish, so any little thing that goes wrong or any little bump, you know, the stock market is going to turn into that big roller coaster again. You know, you're going to dump, you know, 2-3% in a day and the next day you may gain a percent back and then dump another 2-3%, you know. It's going to be like a ride at Disney World, you know, it's going to be like those roller coasters. You're going to be going up and down and up and down and up and down. You know, it's not going to smooth out, it's not going to straighten out until we can get control of the situation and get a control of this bug and um, flatten out the curve. Once they can show that they're flattening out the curve, I think things will start to slowly get better. But the main concern long term is all these scientists and uh, medical officials and everything else are stating that they do believe that this is going to come back around this coming winter. Now, with that being said, one would think that we have learned a lot and uh, we have learned our lesson on being stocked up on certain types of supplies. It's very important for them to come out with a drug or a vaccination before winter. And this way here, hopefully it will not be nearly half as bad as what it is now with all these states, local counties, and everything else that are doing the mandatory lockdowns. Um, you know, every day it's, it's, it's somebody else, it's another county, um, you know, it's another state. Um, I did see on the news today where they were talking about where, you know, everybody probably should be wearing a mask now going out in the public. Well, that is probably true. But the problem is, is we can't even get enough masks for our emergency personnel that are trying to take care of these people. So how are you going to come up with all these masks for people to go out into public if you don't already have some? But long term, you know, hopefully if they can get a control on this, um, we'll slowly come out of this at the end of the year, beginning of the next year, and hopefully start to build the economy back up. That being said, I wouldn't be investing any money into the stock market or um, 
any type of uh, annuity fund or something like that. If anything, you want to buy, try to buy gold or silver. Um, treasury bonds, they suck right now, uh, so I stay away from them. And if you have to, uh, just keep your cash in your bank for right now until the storm blows over. Um, <clears throat> Long term is is going to be totally based on the control of the bug, the control of um, the availability of the federal government to step in and to help out all these states that are hurting and get the situation under control where it is manageable by the local and state um, governments and hospitals um, you know there's only so much that uh, uh, they can do on their own so they need the help I believe they need the help of the military in some of these areas which they have started doing um, they you have saw where the army has come in and started setting up things um, hospitals and, and all this kind of stuff triage um, <clears throat> They're very good at that. They can do it in a short very, you know, period of time. So until we can get all this stuff under control and everything else, um, the economic impact on this is going to be very great. It's going to hurt a lot of people. Um, I think you're going to see a lot of bankruptcies over this because I think a lot of these uh, banks and things, regardless of what the government is going to be saying, uh, they're going to... Uh, not be so nice with the people and uh, I think you'll start seeing a lot of bankruptcy, bankruptcies, foreclosures um, and that type of thing and is that going to take and throw us back into a type of recession that we had in 2008 with the housing market. Now once again these are all just my opinion okay everybody out there you have your own opinion um, uh, that's just my opinion and what I'm reading into, what I am seeing and reading in the news, on the internet, and there's just a lot that goes into it. Feel free to go out and do your own investigations, um, but once again, this is just my opinion and my opinion only. You may not like my opinion, I understand that. That's, that's totally fine. That's why we live in America, you know? Um, but it's just something to think about. Uh, I just do it to bring you awareness of what I see going on and what I think could be happening. You know, everything is a prediction based on how fast they can get this bug under control. That's what it all boils down to. So my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And I'd like to thank everybody for everything you do for my channel, for watching my videos. If you got any comments, leave them down below. We can discuss them. You know, maybe you see something different, throw it down there, you know? But until the next time.